for Pacific. Hope you can join us for that. Wheatley, Ethan Wheatley, who has made his Premier League debut, came on in April against Sheffield United. The 250th Academy graduate to make the United first team in their history. Doesn't really seem like that much in the, <laughs> in the, in the long, long history. There's been some big names in those Academy graduates who made the first team. Look. There's a lot of hand wringing amongst the Arsenal support at the moment, saying there isn't a clear enough pathway from the Arsenal Academy to their mm. first team. And you know, the likes of Smith Rowan, and Kedia, and Nelson, and if they are to leave, they'll be part of the Hale End boys who came through with Saka. Well, I think in the end, I think the fans you know, just they just want to consistently be winning things. And, yeah. And, well, they want it both ways. Right. right. But if some of it means that some, some graduates come through and are successful enough, look, nobody's, I don't think there's any ill will in saying, oh, no, we can't bring academy guys through. These are the opportunities. These are the opportunities that you have to show that you belong. Yeah. And then maybe go out on loan and then come back and then the next preseason. Look, we saw that with players like a Harry Kane or whatever yep. coming through academies. and. Nicholas Departé is the... Tank breaks down. Now Martinelli. Oh, Martinelli did really well. Gabriel Martinelli exploding into life. He looked like a man on a mission there, and he's given Arsenal the lead with 10 minutes to go. But I'm going to give Johnny Evans a little bit of the benefit of the doubt here. As that ball comes through and Martin Elliott comes off him, we'll see on the replay. I'm really wondering if Evans could have come through and had a, a, a hard challenge. And maybe it was a situation where he says, you know what, in preseason, I'm not going to put this challenge in. Like right there. Oh, I guess it was, it was fish. Let's see. Is there a challenge to be had? You see where he just laid off a little bit. You yeah. wonder, is that a, or did he just not get close enough? Or was he just looking away enough? But it looked like it was there to be one, Adrian. And, yeah. and then when it wasn't, he just snuck it into the near post. Uh, Martinelli, who scored a goal in the U.S., in uh, June, scored for Brazil in their friendly against Mexico at College Station, Texas. 16 goals he scored in the 22-23 campaign, and that went down to six last year. As we mentioned, some injury struggles, maybe some formation changes, personnel changes that had a knock-on effect. So he's looking to get back. Yeah. At the age of 23, so in the short period of time that he's been on the pitch, we see yeah. that that's a a very good possibility with the the change of pace at midfield, and then this little turn of pace to open up and just leaves Scanlon the first time, then the second time, and I really thought that ball was there to be won, and then it goes through Will Fish's legs, and when it goes through the legs, it's so hard for Onana to recognize it doesn't see it as it comes through and then finds its way in the back of the net. Yeah, you described it so well, Casey okay, so Wilfish seemed to be caught in two minds, didn't they? Whether they come into the challenge full ball or back off, and he didn't either. Now, Ericsson at the other end, looking for Johnny Evans. And a defensive route. To safety was required from Gabriel and be a United corner. Yeah, it was a really nice ball. As we know, Christian Eriksen can can serve a really fantastic ball off of a set piece, and he'll have another opportunity here from the corner. In that very tight corner, as yes. we highlighted <laughs> in the first half. Not much room to operate for. Corner kick takers. This is Sancho looking to operate. 
And he's won another corner. Well, we highlighted a couple guys in the in, in the pregame that were looking to really start over again and and, and kickstart a new season. There's there's nobody more apparent than Jaden Sancho who had a very storied falling out with, with Ten Hag last season, ended up going on loan to Dortmund, and now he's back, and you know, we'll, we'll kind of see how this plays out. Yeah. Ten Hag saying oh, that he's drawn a line under it as Ericsson's deflected shot will result in a third United corner in quick succession. Havertz back. Defensive duty. Martin trying to test uh, the metal of this Arsenal defence that was so good last year. And he conceded 29 goals in 38 Premier League games. Oh, Hain! I think needed the help of the crossbar there. Yeah, he didn't read that very well. And a huge weak forward which almost provides some fodder for Martinelli and he's done the foraging work albeit with a foul he couldn't believe <laughs> the decision went away against him he's a corner again yeah, Erickson just swings it straight in and, and it's not like Payne was really out of position he just ended up getting the ball pinched onto the crossbar as he tried to bat it away been the Estonia number one for quite a few years now. Age of 22. Not the first Estonia goalkeeper Arsenal have had. Mark Poom played against them several times. Yeah. Another rivals in red matchup coming up on Wednesday night. You'll see Arsenal action. It'll be Liverpool who are the opponents this time. They'll go across country to Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia for that Wednesday 7.30 Eastern right here on ESPN I think I mentioned we'll head down the coast looking forward to this one Casey going to San Diego to see Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag face Spanish opposition in Real Betis Looking to win the Snapdragon Cup. I don't know if that counts as <laughs> a trophy haul for Eric Ten Hag. I, I, th I think the FA Cup might have been just a little more important. <laughs> well, he did, he's quick to point out, isn't he? Despite their struggles, he's won two trophies. Yeah, in for sure. seasons, Carabao Cup and FA Cup. And they hadn't won a trophy in six years before that. The Europa League in 2017 under Jose Mourinho. And I think that's more to the reason why I think after winning that cup, why they elected to just hold off and, and see if this this project.